Mass shootings ought to be an alarm that awaken the rest of us to the emergency, the real emergency unfolding at the center of our culture. Why is this happening? Brad Whitman is a former pollster for Bill Clinton, and he joins us now. Brad, thanks very much for coming on tonight. Thanks for having me. So, um, a billion magazines that fit under this definition, tens of millions of semi-automatic weapons that fit under this definition. What would it look like if the government tried to take those by force from law-abiding Americans? Well, I've got some good news for you, Tucker. I don't think you have to worry about better work becoming president, so that is unlikely to happen. Right. I think what's fascinating in the whole debate is nothing seems to unite Americans more today than support for universal background checks. Nine in 10 Americans support background checks. Nine in 10 Republicans support background checks. The president supports background checks. The problem is that he is too weak or afraid to actually call okay. the NRA but, 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 and actually okay. get that done. So, but, but, I mean, before I let you align the over the, before I let you align over the questions and get off your talking points, congratulations, you, you, you did. Um, I, I have to press you a little bit because it's not, and Beto O'Rourke obviously is, is a footnote and a, and a completely mediocre, irrelevant character. But it's not simply Beto. That's the tape that we played. Elizabeth Warren, who seems likely to be the nominee of the Democratic Party, much more likely than Joe Biden, in my opinion, has yeah. also called for gun confiscation. So this is what you're calling for is civil war. What you're calling for is an, an incitement to violence. Is something well, that I wouldn't want to live here when that happened, would you? To be, to be clear, I'm, I'm not calling for that. I would support confiscation only in the context of red flag laws, and I think okay. that's what we need to talk about. But that's not I, what they're saying. Hold on. That's not what they're saying. What you're saying is, and we can debate this, and it's a real debate, if someone seems dangerous, do we have to convict him before taking his guns away? I think that's a legitimate debate, but I don't think what you're saying is insane. What Elizabeth Warren is saying is that these kinds of firearms are now illegal. Anyone who possesses one is now a felon, and we're taking them away. Well, let's look at business. What would happen to our nation if you tried but, to do that? Seriously. But the, I don't know the answer to that, but I do know the answer to this. Look at what Walmart did today. Walmart said that they are no longer going to sell ammunition for handguns, no longer going to sell ammunition for assault rifles, and no longer going to allow people to carry guns openly in their stores. In the face of government inaction, business is actually rising to the occasion well, the, and saying, you the, know what, There's no we don't doubt that business is in the vanguard of the activist left. And Walmart, af after having destroyed American retail and made this country much uglier and empowered the fascist government of China, has a lot of brass lecturing the rest of us about anything at all. They ought to be ashamed of themselves, that company. Um, well, and they, they, uh, ha but does it, does it strike you as interesting that the response from the ruling class is not to think through why this is happening, but to attack rural America, there's no, there's no violent crime in most places where everyone owns a gun. I mean, well, honestly, why, why all, are they punishing rural America for the sins that weren't committed there? With all due respect, Tucker, I don't think anyone is talking and calling out rural America. I think they are. No, a number of the candidates, for example, Mayor Pete Buttigieg, has called for massive investment in, in mental health. But clearly, the cause of these mass shootings is mental health aided and abetted by the easy access to guns and high-capacity magazines. So I think we need a comprehensive approach that looks at how to deal with mental health issues in a better way, how to flag people who shouldn't have guns, and how to begin to limit the number of high-capacity magazines. I don't think magazines that have one, two, three, four, but I mean high-capacity magazines, why do you need these things? No one is hunting with an AK-47. <laughs> I guess, I guess my, my question is, why should I have to explain myself? I'm, I'm a taxpayer, a citizen, I'm an adult man in a free country, I've done nothing wrong, I shouldn't have to answer questions from you or anybody else about what I have in my closet. I'm not, I pose no threat to anybody. But we do have, as a society, we do have collective restrictions on actions that are deemed unsafe. No, you you are attacking the law abiding for the sins of the few, because this is a power grab. It's not a sincere effort to make this a safer country, which I would welcome. I think mass shootings are horrifying, but I, nobody I, is actually serious about trying to fix the problem, because if you were, you'd be every bit as upset about the rest of the shootings that take place, which far outnumber the casualties from mass shootings. Like less than 10% of all murders in this country are, are from a rifle. If we but had, we're not trying to ban any access, other kind of guns. But if we had less access to guns, less access to ammunition, the suicide rate would plummet, and the number of gun deaths, which are now at 33,000 per year, would, would decrease. I mean, 93 people are killed every single day by guns. Seven kids are killed every day. Are you against 50 suicide women are now? killed every month Really? Because I thought partners. the left supported a suicide. Because last time I checked, like in the state of Maine, for example, the left has now made physician-assisted suicide legal. The left pushed that. I'm opposed to I, it. But so, how can, so you for or against suicide? I'm kind of losing track on this I, question. I personally am against suicide, but I think oh. physician-assisted suicide is something that should be between the oh, doctor and the patient. Oh, but you shouldn't be Blowing allowed to do it yourself. Oh, I get it. You've got to take my guns away because of suicide, but meanwhile you're making suicide legal. But to be clear, Tucker, I I'm don't sorry, want to take the your BS guns is away. just too much. All right, yeah. I, yes, I think you people... Do. 
I think people who are mentally unstable should not have access to guns. And I think if okay. we have fewer assault weapons there. on the street, I mean, I actually believe that we should put an assault weapons ban back on because these weapons are not used for hunting. I mean, come on, nobody goes and shoots a deer with an AK-47. It didn't affect the crime rate, so obviously there's another agenda here. But I thank you very much for coming on. I appreciate Thanks, it. Tucker.